Got a challenge for you. What would you choose? This iPhone or a can full of beans? The iPhone. Are you sure? It's all yours. Congratulations. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good. Look, I got a challenge for you. What would you rather choose? This iPhone or a can full of beans? The beans. What? The can full of beans? This is a brand new iPhone. You don't want it? Don't you like it? Yeah, but I haven't eaten in three days. Three days is a long time, buddy. What happened? Why haven't you eaten anything? It's because we used to live in Honduras and then my mom, she, my dad, they fought all the time and we just came here from, from over there and, and I helped my mom oh, I sell these muffins. And do you help making them as well? Do you enjoy it? Which ones are your favorite? Chocolate chips or chocolate? This one. And what's your name? Josue. Josue. Nice to meet you, Josue. And how old are you? Seven. Seven. I see. Um, where's your mom? I, I don't know, but she left me in charge. Oh, oh, I see. Well, we'll wait for her here, okay? I don't think she'd like you talking to strangers, would she? I can see you still have all of your muffins with you. Haven't you sold any? No. Why? Why Why do you think that is? I, I think it's really hot. I guess that makes sense. It's really hot, actually. Uh, would you like some water? <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Don't worry. It's all yours. Okay, keep it. And, uh, what's your favorite color, Josue? Blue. Oh, and, uh... uh what can I do for you, sir? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Why are you talking um, to my kid? Are you Josue's mom? Yes, I am his mom. Uh, I see. I'm really sorry for approaching him this way. I was really surprised by what he did in a social experiment that we were running. And... And we were just interviewing him. I'm sorry. Uh... I go and I go somewhere else and I leave my kid in charge and then I see him talking to strangers. I have told him not to talk to strangers. Of course, yeah, I understand. I'm really sorry about this. We don't have an intention of disturbing you, so I apologize. Sure, no worries. So I was telling you, uh, we were surprised because we initially offered him, what was it? An iPhone or the beans. An iPhone or some beans. Mm. And we were shocked by his decision. Um, he chose the beans, look. Um. Uh, he chose the beans and he told me he was really hungry. What do you think about that? Excuse me, um, what's your name? Nereida. Nereida. Nice to meet you, Nereida. I... We're from Honduras. Oh, Honduras. Beautiful country. Yeah. And tell me, uh, why did you choose to come here? Well, we decided to come here because my husband was, he was very violent and he would hit us, he would insult us, he wanted to take my boy away. I can't imagine it hasn't been easy at all for you. No, not at all. I, I've been suffering all the way through, but thank God we're here now. Suffering and struggling, but we're here now, thank God. I'm glad you're here now, though. Mm. I know it's not always easy, because not everyone's kind. But, um, I promise you that there are still good people around, willing to help, okay? Yeah. And, and we were really impressed by Josue because he's clearly a good person. He knows the difference between what's important what's superficial, right? Yeah. No, I have always taught him the value of food. I believe that he's incredibly smart and I admire you for raising him this way. Uh, thank okay. you. <laughs> and Josue, do you admire your mom? What is it you admire the most from her? That she's really good. She takes care of me. Uh, we mm -hmm. make them taste good. 
together. I see you really enjoy that, right? <laughs> yeah, we always bake together. He helps me prepare. Yeah, them. he already told me that he loves chocolate chips. Oh yeah, he loves chocolate chips. I'm really glad there's something you enjoy doing together, even if it hasn't been easy getting here. How long have you been selling these uh, muffins for? Ooh, for a very long time now, but we don't do so good, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Have you been looking for any other jobs lately? I mean, I have looked for other jobs, but no one would hire me because when you come from another country, it's just, it's just very hard. Has anyone been rude to you? Yeah. Or racist towards you? Yeah. Documents, looks, accent, my voice, you know, just... Honestly, sometimes I think it's very hard. I see. I'm really sorry about that. Right now, in front of me, I see two human beings who are completely capable of joining any community, any job. I can see that you're doing your best, that you have a lot of values, wisdom, strength, energy, and um, a vision, a dream, just like anyone else. Yeah. What would you like to achieve? Well, I would love to have some kind of establishment where I could sell all of my pastries and cakes. Mm -hmm. and and of course to help my kid out. Is he currently in school? No, he's not going to school yet. Well, I haven't really got the means and... So the documents? Yeah, documents too. I don't have them. I know, but um, education is it's essential for his development. Yeah, I know. Would you like to go back to school this way? Yes. Do you miss your friends? Look, I apologize once again for approaching you this way. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I welcome you once again, even if you've been here for a while. Could you tell me a little bit more about how your journey here was? Ooh, it was it was ugly. My husband would hit me. He would just grab me. He would throw me against the wall. He would insult me, humiliate me. drunk and be someone else and I would just cry and pray. Did you ever fear for your life? Yeah, I was afraid all the time that he would hurt us. We ran away from there because he wanted to take my child. I didn't want him to have him. So we, we came here running away from him, from his ways, from his... He wanted to kill us. He hit me. Once he hit me with a revolver, I fell down. I grabbed my kid. I didn't even know what to do. Was nobody there for you? Well, my family wasn't really close. The only people we had there were my in-laws and... Of course they would tell me, like, you have to bear with him. You have to... That's why you're married. That's why you got married. But I wasn't really willing to do that. I... I mean, I could take sickness and poverty, maybe. Not money, okay, but... But not this, not, not hitting. Ever. Ever. I couldn't take that from my husband. In sickness, you know, in, in bad times, okay, but hitting, punching, no. Sometimes we have to make sacrifices, right? Yes, you have to make sacrifices, you know. I'm really sure that taking Josue and leaving everything behind wasn't easy. That's right, yeah. I came here just with him and, you know, I, I put myself in the hands of God. Which angels have you encountered in your way? 
I have always had angels on my back. I'm really glad to hear that. Despite all of this hardship and heartbreak, you have faith. That's right. I trust and have faith in God. God never abandons. Not even in the darkest moments, right? That's right. Thank you for sharing this with me. I know it's not easy opening up, but I at least feel really welcome here in our city. Thank you so much. I hope Josue gets to meet his family once again. Yes, that's what we're planning of, you know, to come back and visit his grandparents, his aunts. I'm really sure they'd be really happy to see you once again. Yeah, again. someday. I know the situation's kind of difficult right now, right? It is very hard, especially for me, but we will have an angel that will... Uh, what's the current legal situation that you have? He wants to take the kids' custody. Has he threatened you? Yes, he's threatened me. He says, I'd rather see you death Why? than you taking my child away. My God. And I'm so scared of him. I totally understand the reasons why you left. Yeah. And uh, how did you make it all the way over here to the border? Well, I got here because they offered me some help to, you know, to cross the border, but it hasn't happened. Mm. I see. Ah, not either. Look. I'm really moved by your story. I'm completely sure that it hasn't been easy for any of you. No, my kid and I have been through it. Uh, when Josue told me that he hasn't eaten anything in three days, I just... <sighs> That's right. Would you allow me to bring you something to eat? Would you like to come? Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, well, never mind. I'll bring them to you, right? So you don't leave this unattended. Oh, okay. I'll be right back, okay? Did you like it, Josue? Good. Aren't you gonna eat, Nerida? Mm, no, I'm gonna save it for later. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but inside that bag, there's a surprise for you, and... I would like for you to look for it. Oh, really? What can you see in there? <laughs> what is it? <sighs> no, that's... No, no, no. No. That money's all yours. It's a lot of money. Don't worry about it. Look, Nereida, you were just telling us about how God will provide, right? Yeah, I know, but... Okay, okay. I'll take this because I really need it. For my kid, for food. What would you like to do with this money? What are you going to do with it? I think I'll save this to put my kid in school, to buy him some clothes, for him to go back to school, to continue his life. I see. I agree. I completely agree because it's really important. But um, you know what else I think it's really important? Um, what was that? I really loved listening how you enjoy preparing and enjoying these muffins together. The sweet side of life, right? Yeah, that's right. So I was thinking about it and I discussed it with the team a few moments ago. And um, we would really like to surprise you with one more thing. If it's God's will, then yeah, we'll take it. Excellent. Thank you so, so much. So then, we'll come by tomorrow. And we'll pick you okay. up, okay? And then we'll, we'll take you there. Here. All right? Thank you so much. See you tomorrow then. Thank you. Hello, Nereida. <laughs> well, here Hello. we are. Are you ready for your surprise? Um, yeah, I'm ready. How have you been? Awesome. It's great to see you again. Um, your surprise is here behind us. Okay. And uh, where's Josue? Oh, well, he's already in school. Oh, he's in school yeah, already. He's there. Well. Well, you're right about that. That really can't wait. Mm. Tell him we say hi, okay? Yeah, I'll tell him you said hi. Right. Follow me and then 
You're gonna close your eyes, okay? Are you ready? Okay. In front of you, to your right, there's a surprise for you. Open your eyes. What's this? <laughs> what do you think? What is this place? Um, I don't know, some establishment or yeah. something? Well, I remember you said that you wanted to open your own pastry shop, don't you? Yeah, I said that, but I didn't imagine that you... What did you bring <laughs> me for? Well, this place is all yours. We're gonna set everything up. I can't believe this. Inauguration is in one month. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so happy. You guys are the angels that fell from above for me. Congratulations, Nereida! Thank you. I feel so grateful to you. You are blessed. You deserve this. Please feel very welcome to our city. You're part of us now. We wish you a lot of success from now on. Thank you. Are you ready to cut ribbon? Thank you. Congratulations, Nereida. Congratulations. <laughs> Are you going to invite us in? Of course. Excellent. Welcome. Welcome to this place that you gave me. I thank you so much. How do you feel? Mm, I feel happy, excited for the place you gave me <laughs> where I could sell my cakes. I feel so thankful to God and to you. I wish you a lot of success. I have faith and trust in God that we will do awesome. And now I'll be able to provide for my kid we're not gonna be suffering anymore. We're not gonna be in the streets. Thank you so much. No, thank you. We'll see you soon then, okay? We'll come visit. You're welcome. Thank you so much. We'll wait here. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you, thank you. When you visit us, you are more than welcome. It's an honor, okay? <laughs> thank you, Nereida. See, see you, you soon. See you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.